Hello and welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Reasonable Blackman, the Prosperous Silk Weaver. Reasonable Blackman was a silk weaver based by the end of the 1570s in Elizabethan Suffolk. He was among the earliest people with African heritage working as an independent business owner in London in that era. He had probably arrived in London from Antwerp in the Netherlands, which had a sizable African population and was a known centre for cloth manufacture. Around 50,000 refugees fled to England from the southern Netherlands between 1550 and 1585, as war raged between Dutch rebels and Spanish forces occupying their country. The first record of Blackman is in the records of St Saviour's Church, later Suffolk Cathedral, as seen in this photograph. By 1587, Blackman was married and therefore had clearly the sufficient means to support a family. It has been suggested that he made costumes for theatres like the Globe in the area. Blackman had a family of at least three children named Edward, Edmund and Jane and as none of them were recorded as bastards in the parish register we can assume he was married to their mother about whom we know sadly nothing. Edward was baptised at St Olave's church as you can see in this picture. We already know that Blackman was able to support a family and this is a sign of his wealth and prosperity as a silk weaver. But did he call himself reasonable due to his reasonable prices? The silk industry was new to England and its products were the height of fashion. Once Queen Elizabeth I received her first pair of silk stockings in 1561, she concluded... I like silk stockings well. They are pleasant, fine and delicate. Henceforth I shall wear no more cloth stockings. And you can see in this image a picture of her silk stockings. The Queen's courtiers followed suit and such was the demand that imports increased fivefold between 1560 and 1593. However, tragedy is going to strike the Blackman family in October 1592 when his daughter Jane and one of his sons Edmund died of the plague that struck that year. They were buried with due ritual at St Olave's churchyard. Nothing more is known of Blackman after the death of his children, but it could be his son Edward carries on the trade as on the 6th of March 1614, when Edward Blackman would have been at least 27, a certain Edward Blackmore of Mile End, a silk weaver, was married in Stepney. In conclusion, Reasonable Blackman tells us in Elizabethan London, black Tudors were not just servants for rich gentlemen or employees of the king, they were making an independent living and prospering. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video or follow me at Twitter at LittlemissHistory81 at TanyaRalic38.